Okay, so let's continue now our Olympic swimming pool lighting design calculation tutorial. So this is one of my project. Uh, I label it as uh, Dar Al Handasa Natatorium. It's another term for a water project. It's natatorium or swimming pool. So, okay, let's see what it looks before we start our design. Actually, swimming pool lighting design is very easy as long as you have a perfect luminaire. Okay, the, the, part, the hardest part is finding the right luminaire actually. Okay, so this is for Dar Al Handasa Indoor Sports. Um, yes, it's natatorium. They call it natatorium. And then I use some asymmetric floodlights and some high bay uh, luminaire. And the requirements is 2,500 lux for the horizontal. I don't think they asked for the vertical for this one. Ah, uh, yeah, there is one camera, two, three, four. Oh, there is even nine cameras. And you can see those location of the cameras. And uh, the lighting calculations has a PATA and the dive, diving pool or diving area. So this is the images. Yes. And I also get some 3D, 3D file or 3D object file for the diving, diving pool. And the value for the camera you can see here. I hope you can see this one. Boom. It's 3,000 for the horizontal and camera camera ones it's one six one seven one six one four one six one seven one nine and one six i think their camera requirements is 1500 lux and let's see the olympic swimming pool requirements based on this standard okay let's close this one and if we can zoom it it says for the tv broadcast major in international competition it should be 1400 Okay, and then if for the TV broadcast, uh, national and international competitions only, it's only 1,000 lux. Alright, so this project in uh, Dubai, I think this is Dubai, or this is the one for Egypt. Uh, Dar Al Handasa. Ah, I think this is for the Egypt. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is... Uh, international competition major competition this because this they ask for 1,400 lux for the vertical okay and then yes this is how it looks and yeah the calculation for the diving pool and for the major uh, not a, uh, competition area for TA and PA okay so this is the dialux file for this one it's very simple and um, it looks heavy because you can see the photometric file or the ULD file that I use for dialogs. It's, it's also in 3D. That's why my file is very heavy. And you can see these are the high base. Even the high, va high base luminaires are in 3D. Look at this one. Amazing. And also the uh, asymmetric floodlight from Thorn is also in 3D. That's why this file is very heavy so uh, yeah you need to just place the fittings or the floodlights on the side of the pool not on uh, the middle of the pool and the orientation of the floodlight or the the optic of the floodlight should be asymmetric and i'm not promoting again thorn fitting but the example of this one is like this one the champion fitting now they they have LED before. I think this one is a HIT or a con conventional lamp. And today, Thorn has new uh, LED champion floodlights. And if you want to see the um, photometric file of this one, uh, okay, it's not showing here yet. And if you want to download the uh, LED file, go and right click on this one and then you can use it now in your calculation. Um, okay later we will do it so that's it. it's very simple and I'm going to use the one uh, that we downloaded for our training for today uh, there's another one here this is the Olymp Olympic swimming pool in ah, okay my mistake 
this one Dar Al Handasa is for UAE and this one is for the Egypt yeah look at this this is the Olympic swimming pool in Egypt and this one yes this is the Dar Al Handasa natatorium floor plan and this one is the one we're going to do today um okay so there is no diving pool here so it's i think very easy for now to do it but if your requirement francesca okay if your project has um diving diving pool requirement then uh you can i think i can share you this one this uh, file and then yeah just look at this one and see if it's the same so this is the diving pool diving pool area and this one is the swimming pool area for the olympics so the, the olympic size swimming pool is uh, 50 meters long by 25 meters wide and it's supposed to have eight lanes for for each swimming pool okay so that is the standard and yeah uh, let's do our design now and uh, if you have any question just comment on this video so i can answer it because i will do it as a simple as possible because the only thing for an olympic swimming pool is to get the lux value without glare and to avoid glare in a 1400 lux level requirements is you is by using an asymmetric floodlight do not use a direct beam floodlight like narrow beam medium beam or wide beam use asymmetric like this one and that's it and then play with the quantity do not try to adjust also the tilting angle of this asymmetric maybe you can but keep it as zero degree because it's already asymmetric and then yeah okay so let's do and start our own project now i will close this one uh, by the way i forgot to mention in olympic uh, swimming pool lighting design calculation you need to have a ta okay let's go to the plan view a ta and also a pa uh, calculation surfaces you can see um when i click the T pa it's only on the um, swimming pool or the water area while the ta it's on the surrounding of the swimming pool because uh, people must see also the people who are walking alongside of the pool and also the diving uh, diving pool okay so that's what we're going to do later another good thing about this project I would like to mention also is the client is very knowledgeable about the location of the camera because when they send us the drawing they already put the location of the cameras in the drawing you can see those uh, blue line uh, blue boxes uh, the client mentioned that this that is where the camera locations are so I have uh, TV one camera one I click it here and you should see it there in the plan okay you can see it's here this is the camera one and then camera number two that is the one three this is the one if you go and see it in the 3d i hope yeah it's there it's yeah better see it in the plan view and then uh, this one the camera number i think this is the one okay yeah, I think this one is a higher camera. Let's go and see. Yeah, this is 6 meters height camera compared to this camera number 1 which is only um, that is the height. This is only 1.2 meters height of camera because in this Olympic swimming pool it has different cameras and some cameras are in um fixed position while the others are moving position and if um, Francesca you have your client identify the location of the camera it's better otherwise you can suggest it and then you can just place one two three four cameras or three cameras only if you don't have diving diving pool 
diving pool and then you can you will you can add uh, one fixed camera on the top which is say for example like this one six meters height okay all right ah so this this is the one six meters height okay so that is one of the important thing in olympic swimming pool the location of the camera because you cannot do the vertical calculation if you don't have the cameras okay omg correction please this dar al handasa project is not in uae it is in jordan look at this one aman jordan apology for committing mistakes because this is 2015 project and most of these projects are really really old most of my olympic swimming pool projects are very old i don't have any recent project like two to three years ago nothing so this one is 2015 and it says here aman jordan so yes this project is for jordan project not uae okay so it's 12 minutes this video is a little longer now so let's cut it again and i will see you again on the next video